Hey guys, Joe Davies here, and I've been looking online for new and interesting ear cleaning devices to check out, as I usually do with my free time, and I came across something that really caught my interest. I've seen other versions of this type of ear cleaning device for sale online, but I know from experience that they don't work for me, they're not strong enough. I think something like this can do the job, so let's check it out. So what we have here is the Orisorb Ear Cleaner and Wax Remover. And it's a fitting that you can attach to your home vacuum cleaner to vacuum wax, water, and mucus out of your ears. It comes with what you see here, a soft plastic piece, the Orisorb unit, two tubes, one for adult, one for child, one cleaning brush, and the instruction manual. Like I said, in the past I've had a poor experience with this battery operated type of ear vacuum cleaner. I believe this vacuum cleaner will remove people's earwax that's dry, but if you have wet earwax, these vacs won't work at all. The suction power is so low that it won't be able to remove any of the earwax. But I, I do believe a regular vacuum cleaner with the right type of fitting on it could actually remove wax from your ears. It almost seems like it could be a little bit too powerful, but it says here that strong suction cleans your ears without damaging the eardrums. So that's what they say, that's what they claim. And uh, looking at the instructions here, it seems pretty simple enough, but I didn't look closely at the price. Oh my gosh, that seems really, really high for what they're giving you here. I can just build this device with what I have here at home. So normally I wouldn't be so cheap, but gosh darn it, $38 for that. I could just make it with a couple of things lying around my house and I'm sure it would be just as good. Well, let me look at my home vacuum cleaner and see if I can figure out a way to set this thing up. So it seems pretty obvious that we should use this crevice tool in some manner. I could use this as the main Aerysorb unit. I think this might work with the help of a few things I have lying around the house. A roll of duct tape, a fast food straw, and a scissors. Okay, so let's just test out the strength of the unit here. It's picking up little particles on the floor. Yes, I have a very messy house. And I can pick up uh, this coin right here. It's very strong. So let's look into my ears first and check if I have enough earwax to actually uh, suck out there. Yeah, that's my otoscope, link in the description below. And I love my otoscope. I can, uh, I can see close up on all kinds of things, my eye. I, I goof around a lot with it. But you can see inside your mouth. But let's take a look inside my ear here. Oh, wrong part. There we go. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's a little bit gooey in there. You know, I just recently cleaned my ear out on my last video. And I had a big chunk of earwax in there that I couldn't get out for the longest time. There it is. And, uh, but I was able to scrape that out in my last video. But so now I have some uh, remaining earwax in there. I wonder if the earwax vacuum can suck that up. This is what you should end up with. I actually, I actually modified the tip there. And what I did is I made the hole narrower. All you gotta do is just make a nice uh, slice, about an inch long, right there on the straw, just like I did, and then. After you do that, you're going to be able to kind of overlap the end of the straw there, kind of squeeze it together. And, and then all you're going to need to do is just wrap a piece of tape around it and you'll be able to have a, have a smaller opening on the end of the straw. 
if you don't have that small opening on the end of the straw, there can be a lot of wind blowing in the straw and it can be, you know, slightly uncomfortable. So I experimented around with it and found that if I made the hole smaller, then there's not as much wind blowing through the straw and therefore it's more tolerable. Also, you can maneuver the small opening better for finer control. So another adjustment I thought about making to it because this vac is uh, just really powerful for putting inside your ears. So in case that's the a situation, another option is to, to make a hole right where I'm pointing there. Just take your scissors, cut a hole, I'd say about a quarter inch large in there. And that's going to uh, lessen the suction power on the straw. However, believe you me, there is still going to be a lot of suction power on that straw, enough to get anything in your ear out. So let's just get right into uh, the sucking. So yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's on. It's got good suction power. You can see my earlobe. And I'll stick it in my ear here. I really wish there was a way I could get both my otoscope and the vacuum in at the same time, but I, I, you know, there's no room in there, in that ear there. you think there would be enough in that big old ear, but it's not. You know what? It's clearing my sinuses, the strength of it. Let me show you what it can do to various sticky, thick foods so you can get an idea of what it might do to your earwax. So here's some lard. Suck that right up. Thick, sticky lard. Next is tomato ketchup. Sucks that up very nicely. And thirdly, we have um, we have some chunky peanut butter. So it's having a little bit of a harder time with the chunky peanut butter. Uh, a chunk of the peanut butter got stuck right in the end of that um, there. But you know, if you had a larger hole, perhaps if you didn't make that hole smaller, it, it would be just fine. And if you do have that sticky, gummy earwax that you just can't get out with an earwax vacuum of that strength, I'd recommend to get this elephant ear wash device. And I'll show you real quickly here how I use it. I would put a splash of hydrogen peroxide in there and fill the rest with water and just give it a few squirts inside that ear to dislodge that sticky wax. Go over to the other side, do the same. Probably feel like you got water in your ears, don't you? Well, isn't it a good thing you got that earwax vacuum to suck the water out of? And I bet you dislodged that big sticky piece of earwax in there too. Oh yeah. Well, be careful not to suck your brain out because we know it's not very big. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'm planning to make a lot more earwax content in the future if, if I survive. survive.